Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the super simple custom code trick that you can use to replace the read more text in a summary block with whatever you want it to say. We'll also be using a little bit of custom code to change the background color and border so it looks a lot more like a button and we'll sneak in a little hover effect. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to show you exactly how these codes work so you can set them up on your own Squarespace website. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and you can see I have a summary block set up to display three different blog posts, and each one has a read more button at the bottom. If you don't see read more, hop into edit mode, double click on your summary block. There we go. And under the design tab, scroll down and make sure you've toggled on the read more link because that's what we're changing with code. I'll go ahead and select exit and we're going to navigate to website and then select website tools. And our very first option here is custom CSS. Now I'll scroll down a bit so we can see that read more link at the bottom of these summary items. And we'll go ahead and start adding some custom code. Now I'll scroll down a bit so we can see those read more links. And as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But let's take a look at how these work. This first set of code right here says take this read more link and make it a font size zero. That's basically hiding the text while it's still going to be a clickable link. Now, the second part of the code is the part that you're definitely going to want to customize. This is where we add our own text. Here I've typed learn how and used a Unicode arrow, but you can actually change this to anything you want it to be right between those quotation marks. Underneath that, we're resetting this font size that we changed up here so that any content we're adding after the link is going to be a larger font size. Now, these last three lines where it says border, background, and padding, those are what I've added to make it look a lot more like a button. You can remove those if you just want it to be standard text, like the read more link with your own text. Otherwise, give it a unique border, a background, and a little bit of padding, which separates the border from the edge of the text. All of this is super customizable, so make sure you change these colors and any values you see here to match the style for your own site. Last but not least, we'll add a hover effect using some more custom CSS. This will change the background color and the color of the font. Now I've used hex color codes here to create this hover effect, but you can use web safe color names too. For example, we can use the word purple instead of the hex color code there, and now we'll get a purple button on a hover. Customize any parts of this code to match the style of your own Squarespace website to make it uniquely yours. And when you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. You'll find all those codes listed in the description below. Just make sure you update those values so that they match the style of your own unique website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.